Marshall Harris here. Doug Bruno has long been synonymous with DePaul basketball. His women's team had gone to 17 straight NCAA tournaments until last season. Now he's heading somewhere new as part of the 2022 class of the Women's Basketball Hall of Fame. I was educated as a young person that the gender doesn't matter. It's what's inside that head, heart, and guts of the athlete, the competitive spirit inside that, that athlete, and that's got nothing to do with gender. Doug Bruno has brought the best out of DePaul players for 36 seasons and counting, and now he's being rewarded. Finding out he's headed to the Women's Basketball Hall of Fame while the congratulations poured in into the wee hours. You know, at 3.30 in the morning and, and the texts are still coming in. Bruno woke up focused on the Blue Demons' next game, not his career achievement. I hear athletes all the time say, you know, when, this, when they're retired and all done, they'll, they'll think about this. I don't ever want to be retired, but I, I, I know I'm going to get whacked. Every coach gets whacked. So, you know, the time's going to come when I get whacked and then and, and I'll have time to maybe think about it. But right now, we got Marquette on Wednesday and we've got a, a very good Villanova team on Sunday. So there's no time to really think about this. And I, and I really don't. And that's how Bruno has guided DePaul to 24 NCAA tournaments, including four Sweet 16s. Easy to understand why accolades were never his motivation. I don't think in terms of what I've given. I mean, I, I, I thank God every day I can wake up and put on gym shoes and, and go to a gym instead of an office and, and interact with young people and help young people help themselves be the best they can be.